All right. Thank you so much for uh, joining this class. Thank you so much that you are here um, in this moment of teach now. Um, so we come together now first to relax deeply, relax deeply into our consciousness, feel that there's spaciousness, feel that there's communication going on beyond our concepts, beyond our senses. And uh, so how are we are going to do that today? I don't know. We're going to at least leave our ideas uh, behind, we put them on the shelf and uh, we're going to let the past uh, stay for what it is. It has no link to this moment whatsoever anyway. So that's the great thing about this coming together. We, we have time to be completely out of time, to, to take a moment to completely be out of time, not having a connection with, with time whatsoever. So this moment can then be full of itself, can be complete and whole and perfect. So it doesn't need anything from us except our presence. And um, so what is true about you is always true. And um, so we're going to breathe that in a little bit. So if you didn't do that already, just, just breathe in via your nose and breathe out through your mouth. And just relax your shoulders, relax your your back, relax your hands, relax your feet, your knees, your everything. Maybe close your eyes for a moment just to, to allow yourself to go within and let yourself not be distracted by what you see, hear, feel um, with your skin or anything like that. So it is like, okay, here we are. Ah, oh, that's great. Mm. So yeah there's a bit more spaciousness for us here's a bit more space for the light to enter into this so i don't know how this works but it it surely helps to relax that's what i discovered so and come into the recognition of hey i'm only giving to myself this is a wonderful opportunity for me to give to myself it is not that I have to get something. It is not that I have to um, take something away or anything like that. I don't have to lose something. No, that this is uh, literally there's no sacrifice being asked whatsoever. So this is just receiving this for yourself and that's going to be the gift to your brother. So this is what Jesus said, and this is what Joel was teaching us in a lot of his talks. It's like, okay, you actually just give to yourself. You will have to receive this for yourself, and in that you can give it to your brother. And it's not that the brother needs it. No, it, your giving to your brother is that it's, it is a recognition of that we don't need anything. Uh, just a recognition of the fullness that is present with us in this moment it doesn't need anything at all it just is so this is the point where we want to go ah there you go yes you felt that it's like yeah here we are in our isness you know this is your isness it has nothing to do with time it has nothing to do with your thoughts about it it just is, and it is patience, and it is light, and it is love, it is peace, it is very still. Can you hear your mind becoming quiet? Can you, for a moment, listen to your mind, to your heart, how everything starts to calm down and no thoughts are popping up but right now, just completely coming, becoming still? just because this was the appointed time that we're going to accept this for ourselves. So this is our time to remember the love of our Father for us. You know, the, the gratitude, the grace that is available in this instant for us to receive. You didn't have to do anything for that. You didn't have to be good for that. Or you didn't have to work hard for it. Or you didn't, you really didn't have anything to do for it. It is just pouring down on you in this blessed moment. Just because 
God only gives and he only gives to himself. It only, he's, he's extending his love to you. And that is in you. It is not a God living somewhere in the outer planets and sending his beam of love to you. No, it is present all around. It is everywhere. So there's no way that you can be separate from God because God literally is everywhere just like you so at the same time because we we are detaching ourselves from the idea of time we also detach ourselves from the idea of space because literally you don't even know how to localize yourself we put a lot of effort in the concepts about a location with a gps or whatever association you have with that but um, in the end you don't know where you are you're not locating yourself in the place where you actually are. You locate yourself where you think that you are. And this, this makes a big difference. So that's how we are, like in, in terms of alignment, how we are off the mark, so to speak. So that is like, let yourself be everywhere. Don't let yourself be located. Uh, take time to be dislocated. Close your eyes and you don't even know where you sit or in which country you sit or which part of the universe you are. You know, that's very easy to, um, to discover, you know, just by taking time to for a moment do that. And the same it is with your body, like that's the universe fold inside out. How would you know where your pain is if you didn't feel it with your finger or anything? You wouldn't even be able to localize it you wouldn't even know where it was you know you wouldn't even know where it is so that's so great that there's an opportunity to to get rid of your of that for a moment to detach from your um say your patterns of to detach from the certainty that you find in this world of where you are. Like, okay, I'm East Coast, I'm West Coast, I'm South Africa, I'm, I'm Mexico, I'm, I'm in Holland, I'm in um, Poland, I'm in wherever I find myself. It really has nothing to do with your real location. So you can easily experience that. You know, it's like, it's just, for a moment, closing your eyes and letting that occur to you. So this dislodgement brings only, only like your own, um, say, happiness because you don't have to hold on to these ideas anymore. And when you let go of ideas, you actually see that you can live without them. You don't need them to to confirm your identity or something because what is true about you is true always and shall always be and what isn't true about you never existed so you might as well get a, get ahead with that you might as well get started with that you know so an opportunity to to let this to let yourself be folded inside out and also see that you that there's no time no space uh, despite of all the effort we have put in, all the material, all the instruments to show you where you find yourself. So this is really advanced technology, dislodging yourself from your GPS and from your uh, personal guiding system um, connected to planet Earth. So talking about mesmerism that to an enormous proportion. So yeah, are you getting loosened up? Like, are you getting dislodged from where you find yourself? Are you, you know, shaking yourself up with the ideas of timelessness? Are you coming into an experience of connectedness and oneness? This is your chance. There's nothing to be afraid of. Because what is true, like I said, what is true is true always. It doesn't depend on your confirmation of it. But it can become a conscious experience of yourself. So that's so great. And that is exactly what we offer here right now. To join with me in that. To feel what is real about you. To express what is real about you by just letting the words flow out of your mouth. 
or by just listening with your whole heart and your whole mind to whoever is talking. You give to your brother, you allow him to, to take you home, literally to hold your hand and take you home where you belong, despite all the ideas that you and all the efforts that you put in trying to uh, identify yourself as something that you're not. So see it, if you hear anyone talk, see it as if somebody holds your hand and wants to lead you home. See, there's so much presence here. Here, here is where we come home already in ourselves. Like this is a real miracle happening to us. What is a miracle but, but remembering your true identity? And you come into the remembrance by letting go of your old ideas because like I said just in the beginning, this moment is already complete and whole in itself. It doesn't need any of your concepts or patterns or memories or anything like that. No, this is a brand new living memory called the presence. It gives you in this moment exactly what you need. So thank you so much for joining in this class. Thank you so much for uh, listening to whoever will be talking in a minute. And um, I, uh, I bless you. Thank you for joining. Thank you so much.